significant change. Thank you, Tom. Another hospital has reached a contract deal with its nurses. Late this morning, the Minnesota Nurses Association announced a tentative deal with Elina Health. It includes pay raises in each of the next three years and stronger language to protect against workplace violence. Last night, the union also reached deals with Fairview, Methodist, and Health East hospitals. Both sides say they're pleased and relieved to have reached these agreements. North Memorial is still negotiating a contract deal with its nurses. Tomorrow, nurses at children's hospitals will vote on a contract that was agreed to last week. The CEO of Target is apologizing for a series of glitches that left customers across the country unable to pay for their purchases this weekend. A disappointing weekend for us. We let down the guest, our consumer. Brian Cornell told CNBC the issues that led to the outages Saturday and Sunday were unrelated and that there was no data breach involved. People posted photos and videos of long lines at the registers both days. Cornell also praised Target workers for how they handled the issues. In action at the Capitol, this session could put some community ice rinks across Minnesota in hot water. For years, the Mighty Ducks grant program helped arenas make repairs in order to move away from using Freon to freeze the ice. The chemical will no longer be made starting next year. Well, lawmakers failed to renew that program this session. Eric Chalou is live at the Schwann Super Rink in Blaine, where a push began today to restore that grant money.